Well, heads up here. If you have a habit of texting and driving, beware. You may get a ticket tomorrow. Law enforcement agencies all across the state are adding extra patrols out there. It's part of a nationwide movement to crack down on distracted driving. As Fox 59's Mike Sullivan shows us, the push from Indiana really began a year ago. One text could wreck it all. All it takes is a split second, a quick reach. It's 100% totally preventable. It's a choice that we make. It's distracted driving, and last July, Indiana's hands-free law changed how we cruise dramatically. The officers had to see and be able to say they saw a message being sent or read under the old law. You know, if they have the phone in their hand, it's pretty obvious. Now, using Google Maps is no longer an acceptable excuse under this law. It basically says, while you're driving a vehicle, you cannot have your phone in your hand. A citation could come with up to a $500 fine. Since last July, nearly 3,000 Hoosiers received citations and another 7,000 got warnings. We've seen a lot of good education. Which is why Rob Duckworth and the Indiana Criminal Justice Institute is giving grants to local agencies to add distracted driving patrols tomorrow. It's part of a nationwide 24-hour blitz. Some of them may not be necessarily in a marked car. They may be in unmarked cars, too. Chief Deputy Chris Lane is with the Bartholomew County Sheriff's Office. I think people try to hide it maybe a little bit more now, holding their phone down. Officers also look for jerky driving movements. In the early morning hours or the late evening hours, it's very obvious because when you see that white glow upon someone's face, um, they're looking at their phone. If you want to avoid these bad habits, it's easy now. Hey, Siri. Newer cars have uh, uh -huh. the capability where you can connect your phone with the radio, which makes things a lot safer. We've seen a decrease in the number of overall distracted driving crashes. Tomorrow is the next step in their pursuit of safety. In Indianapolis, I'm Mike Sullivan, Fox 59 News. Still ahead tonight,